sign of Taurus. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Taurus, what we have for your advice today is oneness. Oneness. Oneness is my true nature. I'm not sure if you can hear me okay, but like the number one, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like I'm saying it clear enough for you, so I'm just trying to emphasize it. This card is saying, oneness is my true nature. And then the other advice card is saying, love. Now on the flip side of the card, it wants you to know to share your heart. To love another is the ultimate expression. Okay, so these two cards together, they're basically saying that if you are the type that you're comfortable being just to yourself, uh, not really, um, you, you probably have a circle, maybe a small circle of friends and family. Uh, you, could have a, you could have a partner, you could have a lover. But you're basically the type that you don't really expand your circle. Okay, or you could be, like I said, to, just to yourself. Um, just all about yourself. Sometimes people get that way. They say, it's just, oh, it's just about me and my coins, me and my money. That's it. Nobody else. I'm not letting anybody else in. Nope. I'm done. That could be you. Okay. That card is saying it's, that's your true nature, probably. And that's what you're comfortable with. But then we have love. Um, love, once again, to love another is the ultimate expression. So it's just letting you know that maybe now is the time to try to expand your, your thinking. Okay, maybe it's time to invite. Be a little bit more inviting. Even if it's just one more person. I know a lot of times when we're the type of people, like I'm the type of people, I'm the type of person that's uncomfortable by myself. It's just been that way for a long time. And I'm com comfortable with it. But I know that if the right people came along, um, my life would be more enhanced. But a lot of times that's just hard to find. <laughs> Especially when you could may possibly be a picky type of person. But these two cards are just saying maybe it's time to uh, be a little bit more inviting. Uh, even if you do something as small as probably join a social media group. Maybe Facebook and maybe reach out to some, some old friends or something. It doesn't have to mean that you jump into a relationship. But maybe now it's time to uh, just open up and just see what what's out there. It doesn't have to be anything big, okay? But maybe it's time to reach out and maybe make an expression of love to someone that um, you probably haven't thought about in a while or um, just make a new friend, okay? So that was the advice for today and now Let's head on over to the past. Now, in the recent past, we have the Ten of Wands, and then we have the Eight of Wands. Now, with the Ten of Wands, you could have been feeling in the recent past as though you were carrying some type of heavy burden. You probably needed to look hard at this and see if there were ways that you might have lightened your load either literally or figuratively if you look carefully if you had taken a look you probably would have found that part of the burden that you were carrying at that time it actually belonged with someone else it would have been important for you to pace yourself at that time and try not to take on too much as you see in the picture, these, this man has 
uh, those wands in his hand. It looks like he's about to fall backwards. As he's walking forwards, he's about to fall backwards. <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny picture. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably you in the recent past. Okay, it's not funny because who knows what the situation is, but the picture is really cute though. Now with this Ten of Wands, when it came to questions about your love and relationship, the, the, the appearance of it, it signifies a hard place in a relationship. It can be that your lover was undergoing a rough time that had nothing to do with your relationship, but it probably needed your support. Most often it indicates that there is something in the relationship that probably need to be examined, looked at, and considered. You would not have gained by pretending that there were no problems. If you were in the market for love at that time, don't despair. Your time would have come eventually, but that time was probably a good time to put a stop to your search and just take some time for rest and reflection. Yeah. Now the Ten of Wands is paired with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, you probably had a lot of things up in the air for you at that time. You could have felt frustrated and tired of waiting. This card is an indicator that you would have needed to be patient a while longer. You probably already had done all that you could do and decisions at that time. They must be made by other people. So nothing probably seemed to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things or you should not have tried to force things because if you did they would have probably backfired on you. Sometimes we know our actions they're all in the wrist but all you could do was to put your best out there and see where it lands. You had put your best out there at that time. Now, like I said, all you could have done was to wait. And with these two cards paired together for your recent past, the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Wands, you felt like you were weighed down, burdened. Um, maybe you were emotionally drained by some situation or it could have been a person. Uh, but it made you feel like... It, you just, you were carrying a heavy load. And it probably had something to do with uh, waiting. Something just wasn't moving fast enough. Maybe the situation that you were in, it wasn't being solved. It wasn't being handled. It wasn't going away fast enough. Okay? And it just, it just burnt you down, okay? Uh, you needed the hand, probably. Uh, you needed help because you could have collapsed at any time. It was just too much for you. Um, but you had to continue with what you were doing, and you just you had to wait until the situation got better. But it was moving slow. The situation was going really slow for you. And it just seems like it was a never ending process. A long wait. And that was pretty much all you could do. So you were weighed down, burdened, just taking on too much. And it was going on way too long. And unfortunately, all you could do was wait and just continue. And that's probably what you did. And that was in the recent past. So let's see if the present time is much better. The present we have the Hermit card and then we have the Knight of Swords. Now the Hermit card is an extremely spiritual card. And it often has to do with institutions, large organizations. It could be anything from a bank to an entire Christian church. Just like the Strength card you may even more so more so be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone don't be afraid to take it 
even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying very hard to do the right thing. Just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what is right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others at this time. Now this Hermit card, it's paired with the Nine of Swords. Now this Nine of Swords, it brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. Uh, the night, it can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. The Knight of Swords, it also points to physical, emotional, and spiritual energy. It's at a peak at this time. If you are waiting on news from someone or something, you're going to like what you hear. Maybe it's something you've been waiting to hear. It's good news and it's, it's on its way. The Knight of Swords, it can point to a lot of activity, a lot of travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. You're likely to, f you are not likely. You will not be feeling like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing, so go after your heart's desire. Yeah, you're not going to feel like waiting. You did, you did enough of that in the past. Okay, in the recent past. Yeah, you don't want to wait anymore. So... These two cards paired together for your present time. The Hermit card, you feel like being alone at this time, probably because you had such a heavy time in the recent past. Hopefully, it looks like that had ended, that heavy burden that you had. And now you just want some time alone to clear your head. Maybe take some long walks. Yep. If that's what that man's doing in the picture. He's taking long walks and he's all by himself. He doesn't care if it's at night, which it is. He doesn't care if it's in the daytime. He just wants some time alone, some spiritual time to, to, to um, strengthen his mind and some long walks to for good health, you know. So that's what he's doing in the picture. It's a beautiful card. And um, that's, that's you. So you want some time to yourself just to think and to probably recover. But there is some good news coming. It's on its way. Um, someone could be, with this Knight of, Knight of Swords, someone could be coming in to visit you. Okay, it could be long distance. Uh, so, but you're very happy about it. Someone could be coming in to just tell you something that you were unexpected. You didn't, you didn't know that news was coming. And it's making you real happy, okay? It's making you forget about that burden that you, you carried a while ago. So, yeah, so maybe this could be someone coming in to offer, offer a, their, their love. It could be someone interested in you offering you a night out on the town it could be it's something that put it this way it's something that you want to hear something that you if you're if you're not looking for a relationship or you don't want anybody to come come towards you with a message of hi let's get together or hi i love you or something like that if you're not looking for that it's not going to be that it's something that you you you're you would love to hear Okay, so it's a good news message. Okay, probably something that you've been waiting for. All right, and so you're in this her hermit mode, okay, and here comes this message, and it's got you jumping up and down, so that's a good thing. Now that's, once again, that's in the recent, no, that's in the present time. Yeah, that's the present time. Sorry I get these cards confused. So, let's move over to the challenge. We have the Queen of Cups, and then we have the Ace of Wands. Now, the Queen usually indicates a woman. This woman, she's going to be very helpful to you. This Queen, it reminds, it remi it reminds you to bring love and compassion to your work and 
just know that that's even possible if you work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Things are probably much better in your working world when this card appears than you are realizing. So think positive. So she could bring love and compassion to other areas of your life also, not just work. So the Queen of Cups is paired with the Ace of Wands. Now this is about brand new beginnings. They're going to be very positive new beginnings. The wands are in the realm of accomplishments and often they could be related to work or career, family, relationships. If you are having a difficult time now, just know that things are going to get much better very soon. And I emphasize the word very soon. Because the Ace of Wands is very, is, <clears throat> it's very powerful. Now this card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about the future with a very good cause. You're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you will be feeling that way soon. The Aces, they also tell you that now is a good time. It's a really good time to start something brand new. And with these two cards paired together for your challenge, the Queen of Cups and Ace of Wands, uh, there's some type of new beginning. It's it could be something that you were thinking about, that you pick back up again, or some type of new positive um, beginning. It's about to start. Okay, and like I said, if you're having a difficult time now, still probably from the recent past, um, if it's about that's about to be done and over with, okay? This card is about being upbeat and optimistic. That's how you're going to be feeling and very hopeful about your future. And that's, that's um, yeah. And um, you'll be feeling energetic and very positive. So this experience in your recent past, like I said, be gone. It's it's done with. It's finished. And then there's you've got this person, this um, person that wants to bring love and compassion. Uh, this person is either coming towards you or somebody that you know. It could be your mother. It could be a coworker. It could be a relative. But there, it could and it could be a new person coming towards you that way. Okay, it could be um, a companion. Okay, but they want to bring you love. They want to bring compassion to you. Okay, they probably have, they probably know that you've been through a difficult time in the recent past. And this person is, is good for you. Very good for you. So make sure you invite them into your world. Okay, because, yeah, make sure you invite them to, let me rephrase that. Make sure you invite them into your new beginning. Because that's what this is. Okay. Um, don't turn them down. That's that's probably going to be the challenge for you. Okay, you probably just want to be happy to yourself. Okay, but invite this loving, compassionate person. Okay, like I said, it could be a, a cup of love because that's what the cups usually are. Okay, great. That's a that's a very good one. Very very good good challenge for you. Okay, so let's. Head on over to the outcome. We have the Two of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Two of Pentacles, two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things at this time. Because multitasking, it is not your friend now. You may need to count down on the things that you are doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced. You may need to balance out your checks, balance out your dividends, balance out, just balance out your bank account. There's some type of balancing out with your finances at this time that you need to, you probably need to focus on. 
So be sure you're paying attention there. Okay. And uh, the Two of Pentacles is paired with the Queen of Pentacles. Now this card can indicate that you'll be spending time, money, and energy on your home. Getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing. Provided you don't take on too much debt. People will be looking to you for insight at this time or probably advice. You'll be able to help them if you are inclined to do so. This is going to be a time period when you're going to be able to get a whole lot accomplished. So with these two cards paired together, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles for your outcome. Um, two of Pentacles balance out, the, balance out the finances. Okay. And it looks like you're needing to do that because you. it looks like you want to probably spend some money for the home. It looks like you could be trying to maybe fix up your home or do something with the home. Maybe you got some repairs with the home. Maybe you just want to redecorate the home. Maybe you want to do some gardening at home. Um, but before you do all this, make sure you balance out the budget. Okay, don't just go, don't just go reaching into the bud, into the bank account and then thinking um, you don't need to make sure this is taken care of, make sure that's taken care of, and, you know, make sure that you just balance out the finances before you start to um, make the home more comfortable because um, uh, you could... Um, make a mistake and um, spend too much money at this time. And so that's going to be the outcome. 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 Outcome.